Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro tweeted violence targeted at any political party or political leader is absolutely unacceptable. It has no place in Pennsylvania or the United States. I have been briefed on the situation. Pennsylvania State Police are on the scene in Butler County and are working with our federal and local partners. Lori and I are praying for President Trump, the Secret Service officers who protected him, those attending the event, and all the first responders on the scene. Let's bring in Alicia Roberts. She has a look at the chaos from those at the rally as the shots rang out. Alicia. Aziza, witnesses told CBS News at first they were trying to figure out what had just happened, but then in an instant, they realized that something was terribly wrong. I heard one pop and then a second pop, 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 and then there was like four, four or five that followed that. I believe we heard four shots. It was very confusing because the shots did not sound like they were gunshots. It sounded like they were fireworks. That is Melissa Schaefer on the phone, an eyewitness who heard the gunshots Saturday night in Butler. So then the chaos ensued and we all got down on the ground and I could actually hear bullets whizzing by. Another man in the crowd says he was close enough to see the former president injured. When former tre President Trump got up, he, he had some blood on his face. Uh, somebody over there was screaming, he's been shot, he's been shot. Jim Sweetland tells CBS News he is an emergency department physician who was also in the crowd and ran over to help a man who had been hurt. Video shows people who appear to be injured being escorted off the bleacher area behind where former President Trump was speaking. The guy had spun around and was jammed between the benches. He had a headshot here. There was lots of blood. It is CPR, big chest compression. Meantime, a former Secret Service director tells CBS News that while security is being increased for all public figures in the days and weeks ahead, the task to figure out how the shooter went undetected is already underway. That's part of their responsibility is to be, you know, panning the area, if you will. I mean, they have long range binoculars, long range rifles themselves. Um, and, you know, maybe the individual was just camouflaged in such a way that um, he wasn't able to be seen until he started firing. At this hour, we know one of the attendees was killed in the shooting today. Two others are critically injured. Aziza. Thank you, Alicia. The Republican National Convention begins Monday. CBS News correspondent Ed O'Keefe talked about what was going on in Milwaukee at the time of the incident. Coincidentally, the so-called security sweep or the thorough review of everything inside the convention perimeter was beginning, led by the Secret Service. It was supposed to continue into the overnight hours. We'll see now if it is uh, potentially extended a few hours or not. O'Keefe says there haven't been changes to the event schedule. CBS News correspondent Major Garrett says he doesn't expect Trump to change the tone of the event. Former President Trump is well does not expect to change anything about the program here in Milwaukee. We'll come in here, if anything, more energized, more raring to go. With the event or the convention quickly approaching, Trump has yet to name his choice for vice president.